Well, hi, my name is Joanne Brown. I am the owner, managing director, and designer of Celebrations. Uh, we are a wedding and event production company located in the Cayman Islands. We've been doing weddings and events for the past 15 years, and we actually have now expanded our staff to a size of 50 staff, and we have all facets to do with event and wedding produ production. We do, uh, we have on staff our own wedding planners. We have a team of wedding planners and event planners, as well as, of course, our design crew, uh, designers, floral team. We have a in huge, two huge warehouses, and of course, setup crews uh, as well, and a small retail store. So, it's quite extensive. <laughs> 15 years, you must have seen a lot of a lot of changes yes. in, in weddings, the type of weddings that you handle. Yes. I'm curious to see what, what have you sort of seen? Where, where are the trends? Where do you think wedding destination weddings are going? It's amazing. Um, first of all, when I did start, I mean, the first destination I wed wedding that I did was like, I think, 1997. And having done that one, well, nobody on the island even knew what that meant. What was a destination wedding anyway? Um, and I think the industry was just really starting to talk about destination weddings at that time. But since then, what a transformation there's been. Because I think in, at that time, although that wedding was very large, very, I mean, it came out and just always has things that are different. That first wedding that I did actually had 110 people in it. But we didn't do any more like that. It was a one-off, right? And it was more like two people, four, maybe six. No, the reason that we have a team of wedding planners is because we're seeing more and more people that are bringing 40, 60, 80, 200. We've done 300 people that have come down to do destination weddings. So for me, the trend has been enormous, not only in size, but we're also seeing that the destination wedding, the brides and grooms, don't forget the grooms, um, are looking for, they don't want to compromise. There's no compromise. They want this beautiful, idyllic, incredible wedding set in this incredible setting, but they are not willing to compromise on what they can get. So they do want their tulips from Holland and everything else that goes with it. All the finishes, the amenities, the diversity of culture, of possibilities and that's what Cayman is really versed to do. We've got an incredible palette now I think of high standard um, stakeholders, vendors in the marketplace here that are ready to deliver. You know that's interesting because I, I imagine one of the barriers or the things you have to overcome is that there are probably a lot of misconceptions about well I'm getting married on an island it'll be beautiful but I probably won't get Yes. The type of, you know, service and, and whatnot that I could expect if I were to get married in New York, but that's not true. Right? That's absolutely not true. Um, actually, I'm quite flattered to say that we've had a lot of designers that have come to the island that obviously do their weddings all over the states, and they've come here and they've said, you know, your level of, of commitment and also the product that you deliver is just so high. It could be anywhere in the world. So there's no compromise coming here. You're getting actually better than what you could have at home because you've got this unbelievable scenery, the backdrop, the, the sea, the fabulous locations that we have here, the private villas, you name it. And we can provide, not only us, there are others on the island as well that are quite capable of producing everything that you want. So you're, you've got it all. Yeah, I want to pick up on that because I think there's an interesting connection there with the island. You're commanding it. Yes. Um, is that, does that come, you think, a little bit from being commanding? I mean, is there, is there something about the people that, that make maybe the service standards a little higher or the passion a little bit more? Or? Well, I think so. I think that, you know, we're small. And that's why if, if there's been anything to hold us back is we think, like, I never thought that my business was particularly large or that this was, I've been told by so many people, you have no idea, there, I don't think there's a many companies of your size 
and capabilities in the entire United States. And I'm like, you're not serious. But for us, I think locally, we tend to think, oh, we're small, but at the same time, whatever we're gonna do, we're gonna do it to the best of our ability. It's why I think that we rise um, as a small little tiny destination. We're like a dot, right? Um, they pass us over so quickly. But we, the people are very hospitable um, and they wanna please. That's certainly where my passion comes from. Um, my mom was Caymanian um, and oh, there was nothing about Cayman that she was so proud of and everything she did was, you know, just evident that I want to show off what this beautiful island is all about. So I think that's just gone through the generations that it's, they're very proud of what they have here. It's very special. And now I think it's a challenge to make sure that we keep, preserve the, not only the beauty of the island, but the warm nature and the welcoming feeling we get so much wonderful, wonderful, wonderful letters from all the people that we work for. And it's so touching to see them saying that we went beyond their expectations. But for us, that's what it's all about. It's having them happy and going beyond their, what they would have expected to happen. So, and I obviously know from knowing you and having <laughs> worked with you, I know some examples. I know Weddings Away and yeah. the stories I've seen and, yeah. and heard about. But how many, how many weddings do you think you've done in your life? Whew. Now he's asking a real tough one. Um, we're trying to do an estimate on that. Personally, um, I, the company has done a lot more because now we have wedding planners at work for me, our work on the team. And um, I think personally, I've probably done 800. All right, so now I'm going to ask you a really hard question. <laughs> of those 800. Oh, well, here he goes. <laughs> is there one whether it was because you pulled it out of the fire or the couple, oh, for whatever reason, just um, they got it right. The couple got it right or you got it right. That just stands out. Maybe it's a letter you got after the fact. But uh, just one anecdote oh of a couple that, you know, somebody told us the other day, it's interesting, I forget, it was like our yeah. first day of interviews. But somebody told us about, a, a, a planner told us about a wedding of two people in New Orleans. And they had lost their home. Right. And she said, it didn't matter. This wedding was like in a backyard, in a barbecue. It was right. nothing. Right. But it was one of the best weddings she'd ever been to. Because she said, it did not matter if the roof fell in on these people. They were so, it was, there was so yeah. much love in the air. So I'm just wondering, you've done them all, so. Well, them. I think having thought that for a couple seconds, one that comes to mind actually is a wedding that we had booked um, and had, it was all planned out. We'd had several site visits. Mom, everybody had come down a couple of times, quite a big wedding, and hurricane hit. And of course, trying to pull the pieces together, um, we thought, there was a lot of people that said, you know, we can't wait. It was canceled, whatever, which was quite understandable. But one stands out because one of those weddings waited eight months, postponed their wedding, and actually waited eight months before that wedding took place. And that was an extremely memorable wedding for me because it was their commitment to, first of all, to Cayman. They didn't mind that the hurricane had ravaged it because you know we were very honest with them and said, it doesn't look like what it normally does. And they said, that's fine, we'll wait. But we're not gonna wait that long. You just tell us when you think that we can be we can have it, and those people waited that those eight months. And I guess there was somebody up there looking out, because guess what? The weekend that that wedding was being filmed was when the Travel Channel happened to be on island doing a scout. And we had such a connection, or we did, with that couple, because, and her parents, because they had waited so long to have this wedding happen. Um, that when it happened, it was so emotional for me and the mom and everybody else. And there they were covering this. And the fact that there were cameras there, to be honest with you, it, nothing could have stopped it. Nothing could have stopped how we felt. We felt so proud. There was still a lot not in place um, that, you know, had you had your wedding before the hurricane, we weren't back. Our business wasn't even properly open. 
but we pulled it together. We made it happen for them, and that one is, isn't particularly memorable for me. You, uh, you take this very personally, don't you? Yes, I do. Actually, that mom wrote me a letter that told me that she had four daughters. Two were married. This was the third getting married, and one more to go. And the letter we got back afterwards said that had she known about Cayman and celebrations, all her, right, her, all of her daughters would have been married here. That letter is absolutely precious. That's all I can say. I mean, it's, I have it still. It's on my computer, and I pull it up every now and then because we get lots of letters. But just the way she put that was unbelievable. She said, I, one wedding was, I think, in New York, one of the daughters, a huge wedding. Uh, the other one, I think, was in their hometown in Connecticut somewhere. And then there was this one. And then she had problems with the fourth daughter because she was like, had planned her other wedding, but then they were trying to change it to Cayman. So we had a bit of family problem there. No. Um, but that was so rewarding, you know, that they would think so much of us to hold, I mean, think about it. They could have gone to other islands. They certainly could have. There's nothing to stop them, right? Um, we made it sure that after the hurricane, everything within our ability, we did refunds on, um, that people did not feel that they were being scammed of anything. And so we offered that to them, and I said, no, we're waiting. We're waiting till you're ready. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, it, I've kind of fallen into this, um, and my story is really strange, because I was working for my husband, um, doing my little administrative inventory job, working for him, helping him manage his business. And one day, a friend came to me and said, I would like, my daughter's getting married, only daughter, and I really want it to be special for her, and for us, for the whole family. I want somebody who's going to take over the handling of the whole day. And also, she knew that I did a lot of decor, loved to do designing and creating things. So she said, I want your you know, design influence on it as well. But it was very important that that day, as the mother of the bride, I could really relax, not have to worry, is anything happening? This was an, at an at-home wedding. And she said to me, I think you're the person to do that. And so that was my first wedding. So <laughs> that's how I got pushed into this. Um, and maybe it was my way of finding what I really loved because I never get tired. You know, my husband thinks I'm a bit of a loony, by the way. He doesn't, he looks at me sometimes and says, how do you have the energy to keep going with this stuff? But if you love it and have the passion for it, you never get tired. I don't. <laughs> I have one last something we've asked everybody. It's not even a question. Yeah. And we've gotten responses. It's great because we've gotten so many different kind of responses that people have had to think about it. <laughs> people have given short answers, some long. But I want, I want to ask you, I want you to complete this thought. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. The perfect wedding is. The perfect wedding is when the bride and groom can look back at the experience, the planning, the day, the family and friends that they've brought together, and never forget it. Never forget it because it has been so dear to them, so special to them, and it's that feeling that makes it perfect. Well, I think that was pretty perfect, so thank you. Really? That was great, yeah. <laughs>